Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to fill out the clothing template of Amazon Seller Central. Clothing and apparel are one of the most common things that you see on Amazon. Sometimes it may contain variations of sizes and colors. Listing an apparel using the inventory file template surely will save you time, especially if you have tons of products to add. Once you have filled out the template successfully, Amazon can add your products in bulk. Most of the professional sellers in Amazon use the inventory file template in uploading and editing their product. So don't be left behind and let us walk you through on the step-by-step -step process of filling out the clothing template. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. When you open the clothing template, you will see six tabs. Each of the tab has its own function. The instruction tab is where you can see the overview of each tab and in how to use this template. Image tab is where you can see the image restrictions and the standards that are acceptable on Amazon. Example tab shows you different examples of different conditions to which you can refer to. The data definitions tab is where you can see all of the definitions of all the fields in the template. This is also where you can see if a field is required or not. Template tab is where you're going to do the editing. And lastly, the Value Values tab is where you can see all the accepted values of each field. Some fields do require a specific value, so this is where you're going to check it. The new template has a new feature. When you fill out the first field, which is the product type, you will notice that the field has a colored border. All of the fields with the red border are required fields. The blue fields are the preferred, and the gray fields are optional. You better fill out everything in the required field so Amazon will accept your inventory template. Most of the required fields are in the light orange group, except for the flashpoint. What it means is that the temperature of the material and where it will auto-ignite. If you are the manufacturer, you should know what type of material that you're using and its flashpoint. So let's start with all the required fields. Select the product type, then fill the item SKU field. Indicate the brand name and the product name as well. Enter the product ID number. For UPC, it's a 12-digit number and indicate the product ID type. For the item type keyword, you will always have a drop-down for this. If you don't see the drop-down, please feel free to use the BTG or the Browse Tree Guide and the product classifier tool. Indicate the outdoor material type. If it has prints, then indicate the material that you use in printing. This has five fields, but you can leave the other fields blank as long as you have indicated at least one of the material type. Indicate the color and the color map, then indicate the size and the size map as well. Answer the adult product question by true or false. The material composition has 10 fields. Just indicate what material composition is in your product. The material composition as provided in the article of clothing. This information is displayed prominently on the product detail page. Indicate the department of your product. There should be a drop down of the acceptable departments for your product. If it is not available, please feel free to use the BTG or the Browse Tree Guide and the Product Classifier tool. Indicate the standard price, the quantity that you will be selling, and the shipping template that you will be using. There should be a drop-down for the accepted values on the shipping template field. Fill out the image URL. You may need to have a host website to hold your images. Lastly, indicate the flashpoint temperature. If you have multiple material composition, use the lowest temperature. Now that we're done filling out the required fields, let us go through the preferred and the optional fields. Images is where you can add additional image URL if you have more than one image for your product. Variation is where you can indicate the family relationship with your products. We have a different tutorial for this. 
Basic is where you can update or delete a product and indicate some of its basic information. Discovery is where you can indicate additional product features and add keywords for better visibility. The more description that you will add to your product, the more it will be visible in Amazon searches. Product enrichment fields are some of the additional information or special conditions for your product. This attribute create rich product listings for your buyers. Dimension is where you can specify the size and the weight of a product. Next is fulfillment. Use these columns to provide fulfillment related information for either Amazon fulfilled or seller fulfilled orders. Compliance are attributes used to comply with consumer laws in the country or region where the item is sold. And lastly, the offer. These attributes are required to make your item viable for customers on the site. If you indicate a sale price, the sale start date and the sale end date fields are required. So there you have it. Those are the things that you need to know in filling out the clothing template. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.agency and browse through our huge compilations of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon!